State. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track here trading to the upside. The Dow's up 342 points. That's 1%, about 8 tenths for the S&P. That's 35 points. The NASDAQ 100, a little over 1%, 162. 1 to 4 tenths for the Russell, 28 points. And 2% for the semis are up 70 points. Gold is up 7 bucks. 18.27 is the print. Silver up 15 pennies. Trading at 23.22 and the 30 your treasury down 23 ticks she's trading out at 152 and a quarter so what's all this mean out here well if we go take a look at our nine panel market update chart we actually will begin with the center panel up top and that is the spot volatility it is now trading below its 50-day exponential moving average that 50 day is printing at 2231 and price at 2163. So long as the spot volatility remains below the 50 day, 2231, we should see the rally continue. The rally I'm referring to is the one in the S&P 500. That's the chart to your left. You should be able to see the charts. Mr. Bill, my apology for that. That's the uh, studio. They don't have them posted yet. Nothing that I can do here, but maybe they can get those posted pretty quickly. And if not, what I'll do is we'll, uh, we'll just do a quick replay of this uh, when the uh, Trader's Ed show starts. So my apologies. So I'm just going to explain to you now that I know the charts aren't being seen. They, they probably are being seen in Tiger TV, is that price is likely going to run into resistance. I don't know if it'll clear the resistance level, but it's a descending trend line. We took a look at this yesterday. Today, that descending trend line would be at about the 45, 40-ish type range out there. That is likely where price is headed to. Now, in the case of the NQ, the top of its daily profile sits at the 14,874 level, and the descending trend line is just slightly above that. So that would appear to be its targets. Now, whether price is able to take those levels out or not, or if that's the end of the counter trend move, that I don't know. But the rally should continue at least up into those levels. Now, if price clears those levels, then we have other profiles that we can take a look at, too identify where price is likely headed to. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, it's got that TD9 count pattern. Price still remains below the bottom of its daily profile. That's 95.60. As long as price remains below that, that says it moved back to 95.01, I believe, is a TD9 count breakout level. Gold's trading in resistance, both the top of its weekly and daily profiles in the 1833-1831 range out there. Above that, then price would go target the 18. 50 level that's its descending trend line folks stay tuned for the trader's zed show but if you're off to start your tuesday we want you to have a terrific one otherwise stay tuned we'll be back in just a few the reality